Hi, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri. I'm a senior at Marquette and I actually just got into dental school. So I created this platform just to become sort of a virtual mentor to other pre-dental students who are trying to get into dental school just like me. So if you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe here, but then also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So today we're talking all about letters of recommendation. I know it's kind of a daunting topic. It's kind of scary because it's such a big part of your application, but hopefully we can break it down step by step and it'll be a little bit less scary after this. So just to go through what I'm actually gonna go through in this video, I'm just gonna read off of my little list that I have. So um, what I'm gonna go through in this video is A, why are letters of recommendation so important? Who to ask? when to ask, how to ask, um, what to do if maybe you aren't really close to any of your professors, and then also the options that IDEA AdSAS gives you for your letters of recommendation, how to submit them. And then also I'm gonna include a little screen recording of what buttons to press and how to actually put your letters of recommendation into your application. And then lastly, just some general tips about letters of recommendation. Okay, so starting off, I just wanted to say why letters of recommendation are such a big part of your application. So the first thing is, is that they allow kind of a different perspective to be shared about you. So your entire application is just you advocating for yourself, right? Like your personal statement is saying why you wanna be a dentist. You're talking about all these clubs you're a part of, and you're talking about all the stuff that you've done in your undergrad and like why you should be in dental school. However, this gives the opportunity for another perspective to be shared about you. So it's someone else sharing what they think is so great about you and why you should be in dental school. So it gives the dental school a little bit of a different perspective on you. It also allows you just to become a real person. So my take on it is like on your application, you can't put that you're a kind person and that you're empathetic and that you're really hardworking. But letter writers are allowed to do that. They can say how kind you are and how amazing of a person you are. So it kind of just makes you a real person. It gives you those real human being attributes that, you know, kind of advocate for just why you should be in dental school. All right, so the next thing to figure out is who you're even gonna ask to write your letters of recommendation. The general rule of thumb is two science professors and one dentist. So the science professors could be chemistry, physics, biology, biomed, biochem, all of the above. And then the dentist is really important because it shows the dental school that you've formed a connection with another dentist and that you know what you're getting yourself into because this is honestly like a lifelong commitment that you're making here. So. The other thing to keep in mind is that other schools might have other requirements. So for example, some schools might might need uh, another science professor, so three science professors total. They might need a non-science professor or maybe like a manager or coach of some sort, maybe a religious leader. So what I would recommend is just going on the website of maybe like your top three or four dental schools and just looking on their website to see what their requirements are. And that way you get a good sense of what letters of recommendation you need to ask for. The other thing to keep in mind also is that you don't wanna overwhelm the admissions committee. So it's probably a bad idea to submit like 10 letters of recommendation because honestly, like you wouldn't even wanna sit down and look at that. So I would cap it at maybe four or five. The IDEA adds us application for your individual letters of recommendation caps you at four. So I would try to stay around that number. That way you aren't overwhelming the admissions committee. Okay, so now moving on to when to ask for a letter of recommendation. For me, I personally didn't take a gap year. I don't plan to take one. And I applied at the end of my junior year going into my senior year. So the first letter of recommendation that I actually asked for was at the end of my sophomore year. So about like a year before I applied. And honestly, you don't need to ask that early. The only reason that I did was because that professor was moving away. I think he was semi-retiring. And so I wanted to make sure that I asked him before he left. But a general rule of thumb is probably just to ask like two or three months before you apply. This gives the letter writers enough time to actually sit down and think about their letter and make sure that they're writing a really good letter for you. Okay, so now the most daunting part, asking for a letter of recommendation. So 
First of all, I would say find a time that you're gonna be one-on-one -on -one with the person that you're asking. Make sure that it's not like during office hours or after class, that way no other students are there. And that way like the professor's attention is fully on you. Okay, so this is the most important part of this video. Don't just ask, hey, like, can you write a letter of recommendation or are you able to? The magic words are, are you able to write a strong letter of recommendation for me? And that word strong really makes that letter writer think, hey, am I really able to advocate for this person? Am I able to really say, this is why you need to let this person into dental school because they are amazing. Okay, so this is a problem that a lot of people probably run into. It's honestly something that I was thinking about a lot, but I wasn't really close to a lot of my professors, especially like freshman and sophomore year, just because especially my science classes had like, you know, 70 to 80 people in them and it was really hard to get close with the professors. So what I would recommend, and this is what I did, is I made it a point to just go into office hours like once or twice a week. It's really beneficial, honestly, to you because you get all of your questions answered one-on-one, -on -one, but it also makes sure that the professor knows your name and knows your face. And eventually, after going into office hours so many times, hopefully they'll start asking you like, hey, you know, tell me what are you studying and tell me about your family and tell me about what you do outside of school. And hopefully that allows you to really form a connection with the professor and allows them to get to know you. Obviously in this case, you really just need to advocate for yourself and you really need to go out of your way to make sure that the professors know who you are and make sure that you're getting to know the professor as well. All right, so IDEA Access gives you two options to submit your letters of recommendation. So the first option is an individual letter and that just allows you when you go into the application, you put your letter writer's email in there and then it sends them an email. They're allowed to attach their letter of recommendation to your application directly. And this is a really good idea, especially if you're really close to your letter writers and you're individually able to see when they um, attach their letter of recommendation to your application, which is very nice. However, the only thing to kind of be careful of here is that, especially if you waive your right to look at the letter of recommendation, you really don't know if there's like random typos or if it's formatted correctly. So that's just something to be aware of, but it's still a really good option. Okay, so the second option that Idea Access gives you is a committee letter or a letter packet. And so this looks like different things at different schools. I know sometimes there's like a pre-health committee that writes um, one single letter of recommendation for a person, but it's like five or six people writing it. I know sometimes the advisor will summarize a few letters of recommendation. For me, this is actually what I did. And my advisor basically gave me a sheet that I gave to my letter writers and it told them the directions and everything and told them to send my letter of recommendation to my advisor. And then what I did was on my application, I put in my advisor's email and I put my advisor's contact information and she created a packet. So just a PDF of like all of my letters. So I think it was like four letters and just submits one document but each page is a different letter writer's letter of recommendation. So I thought this was a really good option for me just because it allowed there to be kind of a middle person. So I personally waived my right to look at the letters of recommendation. However, my advisor was able to look at them. And so she was able to catch a few typos and just little things that were wrong. Um, she also made sure that all of them were on letterhead. So things like that, it just made my life a lot easier and I didn't really have to stress about it. All right, so now I'm just gonna walk you through the steps of what to click on the AdSets application to upload your letters of recommendation to your application. So hopefully this little screen recording will help you guys and kind of just walk you through what to click. All right, so you can see my AdSets application here. And if you scroll down to supporting information, you're gonna click supporting information and the top one should be evaluations. And that's another name for just letters of recommendation. So you're gonna click evaluations and then you'll see some information at the top that just tells you um, what the individual letter is, what the committee packet is, and just some directions there. And if you scroll down, you can hit create evaluation request. So you're gonna click evaluate, create evaluation request. 
And then you can just put your letter writer's um, information in there. So you're gonna say if you are requesting a committee evaluation, you can put their first name, last name, email address, all of that stuff there. And then you can waive your right to access the evaluation. So if you don't wanna see it, just hit um, yes, you are waiving your right. And then there are just some things that you have to agree to to make sure that schools and IDEA can contact your letter writers. So that's kind of just a little overview of how to send um, your letter writers the request to um, attach your letter of recommendation to your application. Okay, and then lastly, I just wanna go through a few general tips that I have for letters of recommendation that really helped me through my process. So the first thing I would do is talk to your advisor. They're so knowledgeable, honestly. They've helped so many people like get into dental school and medical school. So they really know what they're talking about, especially if you have a pre-health advisor. Definitely go and talk to them. They might even point you to resources that you didn't even know you had access to, which is really nice. And then the other thing is, is that what my advisor gave me, but even if your advisor doesn't give this to you, you can always create this on your own and give it to your letter writers, is just a student information packet. So this helps a little bit, even if you don't know your professor as well, it gives them some information about you. So, you know, I think in my information packet, I had, you know, general information about my major and all of that, but then I had space to explain why I wanted to be a dentist and why I think I'm qualified and what experiences have been so important to me that have helped me through my pre-dental journey. I think it also gave me a spot to include my personal statement, which I don't think my personal statement was completely ready, but I think I included a draft of it just so that they had an idea of what I was gonna talk about. It allows your letter writers to really just get to know you a little bit deeper and get to know some things that maybe they didn't know before, and it really helps them just write a letter for you. All right, so I think those are all my tips for letters of recommendation. Hopefully that was helpful to you guys, but if you have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'd be happy to chat and happy to talk. And of course, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram and don't forget to subscribe here. All right, I'll see you next time, bye.